the flexibility and plasticity of the mind. We all know that we can strengthen our physical body through fitness exercises. Similarly, our mind can be transformed through training. The meditation masters know that the nature of our mind is extensively flexible and malleable. If we train our minds, incredible things will happen. In fact, all along we are training our minds to be jealous, competitive, anxious, sad, desperate, and greedy. Our minds are trained to react instantly to stimuli using reflexes. Actually, we are very advanced in this kind of training to the extent that the negative emotions will automatically arise with just a very little stimulation. If we continuously indulge ourselves with the negative mindsets, our minds will habituate laziness and fall drowning in the ocean of emotions. All emotions are negative energy, because positive energy is pure, compassionate, joyful, and free from emotion. Those who assimilate positive energy can dispel gloom in their heart, as if shades disappear under the sun. So, how to train our mind to be positive? It is not about suppressing emotions and desires. The enlightened ones teach us that. It starts with knowing the mind. After knowing it, we can tame it. The rightful views can transform wrongful views, and gradually, many negative emotions will be eliminated. We can use a pile of entangled strings as an analogy. Can we untie the knots with our eyes closed? In our minds and hearts, we also created many knots. That we are not aware of. While we do not know how to untie these knots, we keep on adding more. The taming of mind is to focus on untying these knots, to clear our cling to desires, aversion, and afflictions that we are emotionally habituated to. Once we have a hold of the method and approach, we have to practice diligently. Only by continual practices will we be able to eliminate the roots of emotions and rectify the wrongful views of clinging. Just like learning Tai Chi, we first acquire the forms, and then we do our daily practices diligently. We will then become good enough to partner up with peers for matches. From the matches, not only do we improve our skills. We accumulate practical experiences too. Practicing forms is to strengthen our inner force. Practicing matches is to gain experience in combating opponents, and become flexible and realistic in grasping the essence of the forms. Playing chess is another analogy. It starts with knowing the basic rules, then you study the advancing techniques, and finally. Develop further through matching opponents. We see the same in dancers. From childhood practice, they dance beautifully as a result of decades of dedicated practices and hardships. To acquire mindfulness needs training too. From establishing awareness to grasping the skills, it takes time, effort, and discipline. Through diligent practices, you will master the skills, and you will reach the meditative state, and in alignment with its progressive stages. When your mind is tamed, you will see the truth of the universe and verify its true essence. Your mind will be pure and free to create infinite possibilities. You will live a truly meaningful life.